Okay, so it's 4th of July. July 4th. Happy 4th of July to everybody. If this video gets up today, which I believe it will. I have not made a video in a while, but I have been extremely busy. Extremely busy. There is... There has been a lot of rain. A lot of rain. We got... You guys have... Sorry. You guys have seen in my videos, the last few videos, I was talking about how much rain we've gotten this year. It's been out of control. And then we got like a nice week where it was manageable and then we went right back to lots of rain again. But it has been like, like you can't mow every single day with my properties on schedule like I want them to be. So I've been watching the forecast like crazy, like you have to do, and mowing like Monday's list, and then doing part of Tuesday's list, working late, and then, you know, Tuesday's supposed to pour all day, and here comes Tuesday morning and it's sunshine. So then I do the other half of Tuesday and some of Wednesday's list, and then it starts raining, and I'm done for the day, and it's been going like that, so... I've just been way too busy to make any videos, but this week it is supposed to be beautiful all week except for they're calling for some thunderstorms Thursday evening and late Friday afternoon, so I went out and mowed all day yesterday. It's kind of weird because usually on Mondays, the area that I'm in, I pass four or five other lawn care companies and I did not see one company out yesterday. I mowed all day yesterday. I did not see one company out. I don't know if uh, they all decided to just take a long weekend or what. <laughs> That's really, uh, that's really weird to me. You would think that, you know, bigger companies with a lot of properties couldn't afford to take two days off of mowing. And then solo guys like me, you know, if you skip a day or two, you're going to be behind. So, I don't know. Maybe they weren't. I just didn't see them. But anyway, all the properties I have on Tuesday are, the residentials are older people that aren't exactly going to be having wild barbecues and parties today so I don't have to worry about that and then I have a few commercial properties which don't matter um, I'm actually hoping one of them is closed because I always have to park on this little side street where I can't see my truck and trailer most of the time so I have to pull the trimmer off and then lock the trailer and truck up and go do what I got to do then I go back to the trailer and put the trimmer away and grab the mower and then close the trailer back up and go do my mowing but if they are closed today I can park right in their big parking lot where 95% of the mowing and trimming that I do there I can see my truck and trailer so that could make it really nice so that's what I'm hoping for today but we will uh we will see what happens I will got some footage today and hopefully get a decent video up later by the end of today but we'll see what happens so there's on the turf tiger um, I started to make a video on that explaining everything that I've done to it everything I've bought for it um, all the parts I've put on it and I didn't finish that video because now there's going to be more to add to that but I will touch on that in another video um, probably within the next couple days here as soon as I get it back it's at my buddy's shop that has a small engine repair shop that I've explained in other videos in the past but anyway um, so when I get that back, I'm going to make a full video on that with everything that I've done to that mower and then the problems I started having with it and hopefully those problems will be fixed. But I am going to, what time is it? It is 8.26. Usually I'm at this first property by 8 o'clock on Tuesday mornings, but just had a little bit of a late start today. Not a big deal. So let's get some mowing done.
Okay, you guys just see me mow all of that part there along the edge to there and then that part across there. It's kind of hard to see that right now. Um, but there is, and then there is a piece that goes right there across the front over there, just a little part. And you've seen me mow all of that there. I'm parking in the parking lot, by the way, which I'll explain in a minute. It's been fantastic. Um, and then this all along here. I filmed just this little side here before one time. And then right here, there's a sign that says no standing or parking at the end here. But this is where I usually park, right here. Even though that sign's there. And then right up that side there. Um, and then that goes over to the big open part that I was mowing. We'll, uh, I'll actually show you another view of that in a second. I don't know what these cars are doing. Some of them are going slow and creeping along. I don't Probably from out of town. Yep, Quebec. They're from Canada. So, alright, here we go. So, and then it comes down this side. See, there's that car just sitting there. I don't think he knows where he's going. And then just a little part right in there. And then it opens up into this big part here that you guys just saw me mow. That's, and it goes all the way down to this corner right here, right to the light. So anyway, I hope it's not windy. I got the windows down. I don't feel like putting the air conditioning on right now because too much AC gives me a headache. I like the fresh air. But anyway, so I was parking in the parking lot. I usually have to park on the side. I mow that every Tuesday morning, which it is right now. There, there's a million cars there. It's, it's packed all the time. You can't. There's never anywhere to park except for in that area that says no standing or parking anytime. Which that's obviously why nobody parks there. So that's where I always park. I've never gotten a ticket. If I do, I'll deal with it then. But other than that, there's nowhere to park. The other two side roads that come to that point where the big open area is, you can't park there at all. There is zero parking up down. You get heavy tractor trailer traffic that goes both ways. But anyway, so that place is packed all the time. So I was really excited to go there today because I knew I'd be able to park in the parking lot. Well, I didn't know. I was hoping that they would be closed for Fourth of July, which turns out they were. Uh, there was only a few cars there, but that's the company car. So that worked out great. Um, You've seen that I used the Tiger Cat and then I also used the Walker. A lot of those parts where there's road on one side and parking lot on the other, that's where I explained in a video a while back that I needed a flap that flips down on the Tiger Cat. That's why I had, I explained before in the video, I had to put that back on because I always smoke without that on. But it helped out so that when there's cars there, I can mow that whole area without blowing stuff at cars. Um, the days that I do bring the walker, it works out great because I can just mow those areas with the walker, which today there was no cars there. There's still cars going up and down the road, no cars in the parking lot, but it was easier to do with the walker because then I don't have to blow the whole parking lot off because I'm not blowing grass out all over it. So it's, uh, it worked out nice. I keep hearing a radio. There's a lady pushing a stroller down the road over there. And she's got a big radio on top of the stroller. She's blaring it. But anyway, so I wanted to film that one. But like I said, there's always so many people coming in. Ah, there are a million cars there. And I just didn't want to film it while everybody was there. That's the new one I got this year. I plowed it all winter. Um, I, I think I've explained this in previous videos that I tried to get the mowing for there like three years ago and it never went through. Um, there's a new property manager running it now and she got a hold of me. So, uh, and that was in fall. Uh, and that was for the plowing. So I did that and then, you know, come uh, spring or toward the end of winter, I put in the bid for the mowing and I got it. And then I put in the bid for the landscaping and I did that too. Um, as you guys know, since I went solo, I really don't do the landscaping anymore, but she asked me to give her a bid for it because the last company that mowed there did that as well. So 
I gave her a price for all of it and she jumped on it so I went ahead and, and did it which it wasn't really a big deal I just had to do the landscaping on a Sunday because she wanted it done when nobody was there um, so all the cars and the people coming in uh, there like I said it's a very busy place but um, which worked out great for me because then I could back the truck right up to the flower beds when I had to do the mulch and so on and so forth but anyway so it worked out great but that's the one I wanted to film for you guys and it worked out perfect and I got to show you some uh, mowing with the tiger cat and the right or er, the right yeah and the walker all in one shot um, all of the edging and the trimming obviously didn't film that I did all that first but for me to do that property by myself um, to trim it edge it mow it and blow off the parts I need to blow off I'm usually there right about an hour so about 50 minutes to an hour just depending some days there's not that much to weed whack because it's I mean that time of year where I really don't have to um, but yeah that's it um, some of you guys will probably ask in the comments I mowed that at three and a quarter uh, that's what I always mow it at I mowed it down to three inches a couple times in the spring when we were getting all that rain because I never I didn't know if I'd be able to cut it weekly like they wanted so I because of all the rain so I cut it down a little shorter and I bagged it each time just to help me out and it worked out so anyway it's turned out to be a great property year round it's pretty easy to plow and salt and it's easy to mow so that's it um, I'm not going to film any more today. I got a bunch more I got to get through, and I think the wife has plans for later, so I need to knock these out. But this will be a long enough video as is. So, once again, up early. Good day to be cruising, I guess. But uh, once again, happy 4th to everybody. I hope you spend time with family and friends and have a great time. And I'll see you in the next one.